Hello everybody, I'm Cinematic Critic and I'm getting ready to return to review it real soon. You may have noticed that I have recently uploaded some anime reviews. They're practice, they're opinionated, and that's what Cinematic Critic is going to become. It's going to become my opinion. I'm going to definitely discuss things. I'm going to discuss them in detail. Just like I originally was, but I'm going to be more excited. Originally, I didn't I wasn't very confident in my reviews because I didn't know if I was doing the right thing. But as I look at people who have 20, 30 minute videos like I was doing, I realized I have it the right way. I just need to do a little bit of better of delivery. I need to be a little more passionate about the videos like I'm doing right now. I can't just fall apart. Like if you see the second anime re re review video that I do, it's a little better. And that's what I'm doing. I'm doing those videos to practice. If I do a review of Inside Out in tomorrow, um, if I go see a movie, I probably will. I'm in the mood. I don't want to wait another week. I thought Ted was tomorrow, and then I found out it's actually next week. So honestly, Inside Out and maybe Spy. My mom kind of wants to see Spy, so guess what? I may very well go review one or both of those this weekend. Cinematic Critic is getting ready to make a triumphant return. And I, for one, am going to do this for my enjoyment. See, that's the thing that I'm noticing about a lot of the stuff that I've been doing lately. A lot of the stuff, the interest died down because I stopped enjoying it. Why did I stop enjoying it? Because I'm trying to please you. But there's something important I need to notice. In addition to pleasing you, I have to please myself, too. This is my opinion. You could take from it what you want. The fact is, that's what a critic does. They tell their opinion. They try to be as objective as they can, but they've still got their own opinion. I'm recommending you in the anime shows. For example, I could do it right now with the Hotel Transylvania. I am so excited to see Hotel Transylvania. Because Hotel Transylvania was so funny. I honestly think it's Adam Sandler's best role that I've ever seen him in. See, just saying that, I feel so passionate because I really liked that movie. So, why didn't I show that passion when I did the first Hotel Transylvania review? That's the question I asked myself, and I recently got the answer, because I didn't let myself have passion. I didn't let my actual opinion come out. I didn't let myself come out like I am right now. I wasn't confident. And that's my new plan for Cinematic Critic. I'm going to tell you my opinion, and you can take from it what you want. I'm going to tell you the objectives. Like, I love the story. J uh, using, again, Hotel Transylvania as an example. I love the story. I love the twists and the turns. And it made me want a sequel. A sequel I thought it would never come. And actually, I came across the trailer today, and it's releasing in September. And I'm wicked excited for it. And, I, and that works with Ted, too, as well. You know, Ted, Ted was a surprise. Now, I liked Family Guy, and I liked Seth MacFarlane, and I did not think he was actually going to succeed in a movie. So when he did, I was in shock. And I loved the Ted movie, and looking at the trailers, I think I'm going to like the Ted 2 movie, movie as well. See how excited I am right now? That's how excited I have to be in my reviews, and that's how excited I'm going to be in my reviews. You know why? Because I understand what people have to go through to write these movies now. You want to know why I took a break? Because I've actually been writing my own movie. You may have heard the video about Mascot. Well, trust me. When I wrote to made that video, I was on a version 3. I'm on a version 7 now, and it's 10 times better. It's passionate. It's something I can be proud of. I can read the sad screens and sad scenes and cry. Even, and I wrote it, so it's hard to do. I'm constantly improving it to the day it's going to get sold. And the thing is, it's passion. That's why I want to return to Cinematic Critic. Because I do have a passion for movies. The reason that I failed so bad last time was I didn't let that passion shine through in my reviews. I did not be Cinematic Critic. I did not be cinematic, as the name suggests. That's what I'm going to be. That's Cinematic Critic. That's my reinvention. 
and I really hope you'll give me a second chance. I'm probably going to practice with, as I said, Inside Out and Spy. Ted 2 still remains the official return of Cinematic Critic, even if I do upload these reviews early. So, I know that there was an anime review last night. <laughs> well, I've got a much longer anime review in greater detail, but in my opinion, I give my opinion. And that's the important part. That's what a critic does. You try to offer the people what you can, but you're also giving you your opinion. And yes, I am going to be a spoiler reviewer. I'm going to try not to, but, and I'll do like the spoiler ones like I did, but there's, you're just basically, I've been doing research and on how to be a good critic, and you're going to see a whole new cinematic critic next week.